This is going to be an arduous battle.
not much of a specimen. Take this! Supersonic thrust! Blame your fate! Not much of a specimen. Was that Don't get too comfortable. Not much of a specimen. Let's hurry on. This is gonna be a piece of cake. Professor Sage, it's Colette's angel toxicosis. I see. Let's rest here for today. <sighs> What's wrong, Colette? I would assume she's lost her voice. What? Everyone, I have something to say. Huh? I want to explain to everyone why I was trying to assassinate the Chosen. All right, we're listening. Tell us about your homeland. A land that doesn't exist in this world. You knew? No, but you said it yourself that Silveront will be saved. That must mean you aren't from Silveront. Yeah. You know, it's really a shame that your intellect's being wasted here. You're right. My homeland is not here. Not in Silveron. What does that mean? My world is called Tetheala. Tetheala? You mean the moon? <laughs> of course not. My world isn't on the moon. Even I really don't understand the specifics. But there's another world that lies entwined with Silveron as shadow is to light. That's Tetheala, my world. Two entwined worlds? The two worlds lie directly adjacent to each other. They just can't see one another. Our scholars say they exist on shifted dimensions. Anyway, 
The two worlds can't see or touch each other, but they do in fact exist next to and affect each other. What do you mean, affect each other? They vie for the supply of mana. When one world weakens, the mana from that world flows to the other. As a result, one world is always flourishing, and the other waning. Sort of like an hourglass. Wait, so right now Silverond is... Yeah. Silverond's mana is flowing to Teteala. Therefore, Silverond is in decline. Without mana, crops won't grow and magic becomes unusable. If there's no mana, the summoned spirits that protect the world alongside the goddess Martel can't survive in Silverond either. As a result, the world slips even further down the path of destruction. Then the Chosen's world regeneration is actually the process of reversing the mana flow? Exactly. When the Chosen breaks a seal, the mana flow reverses and the summoned spirit that governs the seal awakens. I was sent to prevent the world regeneration from happening. I broke through the supposedly impassable dimensional fissure for the sake of protecting Tetheala. In other words, to assure the decline and destruction of Silveront? You can say that, but your journey of regeneration is also an attempt to destroy Tetheala. We're both doing the same thing. It's hard for me to believe all of this. I'm the proof. I possess summoning arts that have been lost from this world. Please don't look at me like that, Colette. I know that wasn't your intention. I don't know what I should do either. I came here to protect Tetheala, but this world is impoverished and everyone is suffering. But if I allow the world regeneration to occur, then Tetheala will become just like this. But right now you're helping us, right? Yes, but that doesn't mean I can just abandon Tetheala. I, I don't know what to do. Isn't there any other way? A way for Silveron, Tetheala, and Colette to all be happy? I want to know too! Have you considered that perhaps nothing that convenient exists in the real world? The best thing we can do right now is to save Silveron from its current crisis. What if we don't regenerate the world and just defeat the Desaiyans? Although we succeeded in destroying a ranch, we cannot possibly eliminate all the Desaiyans, and the mana will eventually be exhausted. Is mana really that important? I suppose only magic users and scholars worry about it. But mana is even more important to life than water. Without it, the land will die. Mana is the source material which composes everything. At least that's what I've been taught. Unfortunately, the giant tree of ever-flowing mana in fairy tales doesn't exist in the real world. We live by chipping away at the limited amount of available mana. Why do you think the ancient Magi technology was lost? Because mana disappeared from the world. Correct. Magi technology consumes large amounts of mana. If things continue the way they are now, Silverant will eventually lose its mana just as it lost its Magi technology, and be destroyed. Colette? R... E... M... I? Ah! You're trying to spell something, right? I'll try asking Remiel... if there's a way to save the two world. If it doesn't work out, I may have to kill you after all. Sheena! When that time comes, I may fight back because I love Sil Veront too. I understand. You intend to become an angel no matter what, don't you? <laughs>